Next up, uh, we have a, another member of, of the incredible organization called the Indian Stammering Association, Ashima. Please take it away, Ashima. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. And good good evening to folks who are who are joining 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 from India. Uh, greetings, greetings, greetings are from India, and uh, so I'm here to first uh, first to share about the history of stuttering. Okay. So, up so, up so until the when the 8th century, stuttering was seen as a medicalized behavior, and that means it, it was a it was a disease disease slash an illness that needs to be treated. But with greater <laughs> liberalization in the 21st century, the society started perceiving stuttering as a manifestation of, of the human diversity and, and not as a Pathological symptom. This specific transfer transformation coined a new term, transfluence. Transfluency is a speech pattern that that dramatically. Uh, that is dramatically different, but as human or as natural, so as fluency. And according to this transfluency panacea, the three essential. Elements of a uh, stutterer's closet are lies, secrecy, and the third is <laughs> silence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, <laughs> that are uh, society and Culture places so much value on self mastery and and uh, and efficiency before we say rush to develop. Uh, Anxiety and and subjugation. We need to unlearn the older mindset and come 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 out of our closets. And it is seen that stutterers who come out, break the taboo of stuttering and try to change the darkness, darkness, darkness of the closet to transparency and authenticity. Thus, reducing the associated stigma and the suffering. 
now 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 uh, now more research by craig clearly indicates that one in four people who people who stutter are uh, uh, uh so across the globe mom is a woman and that clearly accounts to one point nine crores of women worldwide who stutter. It's a huge number, folks. And however, till date, stuttering, stuttering will research. Can be mostly seen as seen as seen as a uh, say exploring the male or the. Andrew. Andrew, androgynous stuttering. So, experiences of of the women who women who stutter have not been explored explored in more vigorously uh, so much across the globe. And even the even the speech speech and language <coughs> therapies are are. Uh, <coughs> Based on these researches, hence they are they are more arguably inappropriate in uh, to address the experiences of the woman who starts. Um. Uh, so in so in relation to the male stutterers, the female stutterers are more likely uh, to hide their speech condition, and 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 as we as we as we all now understand that coming coming out. So the darkness of the closet is so crucial for the evolution of a new perspective towards stuttering. Therefore, the need for a for a women centric self help come come come. Community that clearly dignifies transfluent voices in in women is is absolutely necessary, right? And an I W W S or or the way we say it, Indian women who stutter. Is the self-help community formed under the Indian Stamp Marketing Association (TISA), where the women stutterers support support for each other? Uh, to exercise and conditional self acceptance, thereby working on effective communication. Women from different age groups and different uh, ethnicities and courage uh, courage for each other to uh, to gain a, a realistic uh, 
awareness so of their strengths their weaknesses and hence try to generate the feelings of satisfaction but their speech can't additions this fight is fight all sorts of limitations deficiencies and and regardless of their past behaviors and choices so as a community we strongly believe in the notion of transfluency and to and to help each other we have we have various sorts of say programs starting from uh, the the online uh, um uh, goes it's a it's a it's a women women uh, women centric mooc that uh, that uh, provide the needed knowledge knowledge surrounding um, the experiences of the women who start up and uh, and the second uh, second uh, second initiative that we do is uh, his is known as a as a mind fullness workshop uh, so the uh, to be on that the uh, in the fact of stuttering uh, on the lives of or uh, these of real women is is actually so per pervasive that to many so of us uh, it seems it it seems hard to separate our uh, stutter from the from the other aspects or or other elements elements means more of our of our life experiences so it is so strongly em provided in in our in our lives uh, and and a prayers to uh, become a, a part of our identities and hence hence it influences our self perception and here the central kata kari uh, and that is um the sense of self the way we see ourselves our con- frictions frictions surrounding who i am these can uh, uh, frictions are in impacted uh, upon our upon our uh, upon our relationships and per separations so so of the of the of the 
of the moon other individuals uh this bounces to to our stata and and uh, and which further impacts our quality of life and that is so a deep down study to highlight how strongly embedded is the impact of stuttering so to help that we have all can i is my fullness workshops for performing uh, stutter and uh, and there after we went ahead to adopt holistic psychology uh, by they call they call later para to heal the memories relating to stuttering in the in the members of iwws now we take the feedback from these sessions so seriously that we truly want to want to want to help help each other to to accept ourselves unconditionally so one of the testim monials uh um is that uh is that a mm, members spoke of an eroded sense of uh, self con confidence and uh, and increased anxiety during some social in interactions at some at her workplace and in the family uh one reason for this uh, sort of apprehension is the concern relating to how 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 the how others would respond to her stutter that significantly influenced the way she related to those folks hence with the support of these mind fullness and mental health workshops uh, she had recently delivered a uh, sales to her resin station at her office and she has also relocated to a new metropolitan city and hanwo she is also also a, a very proactive member of the social guy uh, during so in her in her in her locality and uh, through that uh, we realize what is uh, what 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 we can do more 
to help each other and we realized it's the is the whole new world of dictating and that is so hard to crack for for the women who start this so we started or organizing a uh, one on one sessions on on the on the top <laughs> pick of relationships it is not only about your relationship with your spouse or significant other it, it, it was a broader um, it was a broader uh, so it has a broader objective to include uh, your your relationship patterns say say with your spouse with your uh, friends with your siblings your uh, parents your in-laws and all of them and the and we saw that um uh uh that women uh long term partners showed some common characteristic traits like um on fident soft spoken and uh, and outgoing some of the women uh, tend to allow their spouses or or boyfriends to take over in uh, in social interactions and this uh, strongly reflects a tendency to 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 choose partners that will help to campaign said for their stuttering and uh, this may be uh, an avoidant uh, coping mechanism to to lower their anxieties anxiety anxieties around their speech in the in the in the social social situations um so we uh, so so the one on one counseling sessions sessions that we all organized with our women uh some help them to undergo the relationship struggles or the challenges with the their was spouses and the and the family members and all of the and um, it's also a positive testimony um that all of the women who participated Have have been have been happily married and leading their uh, uh, romantic relationships in a healthy fashion. And uh, one of the and as I said, right, that uh, that these relationships are are not just not just limited to our to our romantic partners. It also stretches to our uh, Of children, our, our, our siblings, our family members, right? So, one of the 
mother who participated so so she shared that that uh, she used to feel scared while in uh, interacting with her daughter freely and uh, the other uh, parents of the friends of her daughter right so uh, uh, she felt uh, you know judged or uh, from from rather misunderstood uh, so she dis caused uh, her serious concerns in the in the safe space um uh, and uh, and we helped her to form healthy opinions opinions about her recovery uh, <laughs> journey and she is now free of such apprehensions and 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 she do not doubt her skills to uh, to parent her daughter and rather uh, her and and rather her daughter is now so proud of her while 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 introducing her to her friends and their their you know families and they have a healthy relationship of mother daughter relationship it's uh, it's a healthy story to share and uh, and to conclude uh, so i have uh, so by uh, so by organizing such uh, uh, such programs in the com- com- community so i have seen that starting have a dramatic impact on on the relationships on the on the professions so our career uh and uh and and on the uh, on the hobbies uh the the in terrace in terrace in terrace areas so of uh, so www of wws that is women who started that it influences the notion of capability and identity as a as a human being and there was there was self worth and and the value that they can offer for to the to their uh, small small worlds right so uh so it is uh, it has been a uh pleasure to uh, to help to help each other to help each other to positively impact our uh, sense of self and through that transform our quality of lives and uh, uh starting from the success in uh, k- 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 careers to to up to having a job that require them to proactively collab for it uh, with cross teams to having uh, to having say healthy relationships with their children to having healthy relationships like with their spouses to having uh, to having a healthy lifestyle and a healthy self on except above all it's uh, it's uh, it's a huge victory and uh, and the journey to transform the lives of women who's women who stutter is a long long journey 
and there are still still so many miles to go uh, it's a it's an honor to see the support of such uh, proactive com com communities so in the space um, to also dignify the voices of the female stutterers transfluent voices of the female stutterers as e kawali so so as be dignify the transfluent voices of the male stutterers thank you